Broadcasters and news publishers want the Competition Bureau to investigate Meta and order it not to block Canadian news content on Facebook and Instagram. A group of media companies says the move is anti-competitive because it'll prevent Canadian news organizations from accessing the advertising market and significantly reduce their visibility on social media platforms. Meta is blocking news on its platforms in Canada in response to a law that forces both it and Google to pay publishers for content they link to, link to or repurpose. A joint request by the Canadian Association of Broadcasters, News Media Canada and CBC Radio Canada reads in part. Meta's conduct will inevitably diminish Canadian news consumers' exposure to news content and the volume of traffic to Canadian news organizations' websites thereby impairing their ability to compete for revenue from online advertising and from their readers. If Meta is allowed to proceed unchecked, it could inflict significant damage to Canadian news organizations' ability to offer quality news services to Canadians, which is critical to the foundation of a free and democratic society. For more on this, we're joined live by Jeffrey Dvorkin, a senior fellow at Massey College and the former head of the U of T journalism program. Professor, thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. I guess, what do you make of this uh, news that we're learning today that a group of Canadian broadcasters has, has now made this appeal to the Competition Bureau to really investigate and go after Meta and its new move? Well, I think it's a PR gesture more than anything else. Uh, the Competition Bureau is well known for being one of the slower bureaucratic organisms out of Ottawa. Uh, if they agree to investigate, we could be looking at six to 12 months before anything is said by the Competition Bureau. And the Competition Bureau has in the past, although it may not in this case, but in the past has always supported large media companies and, and large uh, corporations. I'm not very optimistic that this is going to prove to be more than a simple uh, public relations gesture on the part of these media organizations. And the irony is, is that what they are asking uh, Meta to do is to go back to status quo ante. That is to say, go back to distributing information from newspapers and broadcasters and not get paid for it. So it it's increasingly seems like a pointless gesture. So I guess let's say hypothetically the Competition Bureau ruled in favor of the broadcasters like you historically have said they've done. What kind of consequences are we looking at here? Would Meta have to actually take their decision in jest? If Meta is true to its own practice, it'll ignore it. Uh, and we'll be back to where we started. They, they have ignored uh, the calls from Parliament to uh, come to some kind of arrangement. Um, if the Competition Bureau uh, decides that they want Meta to do uh, what, they, what they were supposed to do, Meta will just simply ignore it. They've got the deepest pockets around and they will be able to successfully ignore anything that comes out of, out of that bureau. Hmm. Uh, journalism news is really, you know, one of the centerpieces of a free and democratic society. How important is it, do you think, for, you know, news to continue to be distributed on Meta? Well, media organizations, both print and broadcast, are in a very difficult position now. Um, they are dispensing with their staffs. They're laying people off. Um, it, it, it forces media organizations to continue to operate under much more difficult conditions, with the result is that many media organizations will go after what I call the low-hanging fruit of local news, which is weather, traffic, and crime. CP24 does that extremely well, and it's very important that it does it, but it also needs to provide context so that the audience can be treated as citizens in need of reliable information, not just as consumers. As certainly, uh, eyeballs are important in this industry, as is information. Uh, Jeffrey Dvorkin, a senior fellow at Massey College, thanks so much for your time. My pleasure.